Hello everyone, I'm Taiga Kanehira at Hiroshima University in Japan. Today I'm going to be talking about simulation of directionally spread and crossing breaking waves in intermediate water depths using dual SPH physics. This is my content. First of all, let me talk about introduction of this study. So in this study, we are trying to recreate uh, one of the famous freak waves, the Dropner wave. Uh, this was measured at the uh, Dropner platform in 1995, as you can see here. A uh, lot of re researchers have been studying this wave and uh, trying to find out why this abnormal large wave occurred. And these days, the crossing sea state is the most possible sea state that can generate the uh, Dropner wave. To find out the angle between two wave groups, uh, Walker at all focused on uh, second order difference wave. Uh, this is a low frequency component of uh, this uh, Dropner wave. And uh, they found that low frequency uh, wave of uh, this uh, Dropner wave show a uh, setup uh, which is different from convectional uh, freak waves in flowing sea states uh, that show a uh, set down. Based on these findings, uh, Macarista et al. Uh, conducted experimental tests and reproduced the Dropner wave using uh, three different crossing angle delta theta. As we can see here in the crossing sea states, measured maximum wave height and wave steepness. Uh, smaller than uh, those measured at the uh, Dropner uh, platform. This is because plunging type wave breaking uh, with uh, crest over turning was occurred in the flowing sea states. But in the crossing sea states, uh, the upward jet breaking was uh, observed in MC19. And uh, unlike the plunging type wave breaking, uh, this uh, upward uh, jet breaking does not uh, limit uh, wave height and uh, wave steepness. But uh, further details of the uh, Drupna wave, uh, such as uh, breaking mechanism, geometry, and uh, kinem kinematics of the Drupna wave are still unknown. So in this study, uh, we attempt to uh, new medically reproduce the experiment of MC19 to investigate the potential property of the uh, Dropner freak wave in more detail. The aim of this paper is to investigate the effect of uh, smoothing length on simulated uh, directionally spread and crossing breaking waves. So let's move on to the next topic. Uh, new medical model and uh, new medical setup we used. Here we show overview of the new medical tank. The new medical wave basin we used is based on a circular wave tank, a full wave, at the U University of Edinburgh. It has 25 meter diameter and 2 meter uh, water depth of a uh, fluid domain and we installed uh, 168 hinged flap type uh, wave makers uh, around uh, circular rim, as we can see here, and which are uh, comprised of dynamic boundary particles. And we imposed a time history of rotation angle data at each of the paddle individually. These data were recorded at the uh, flow wave, wave tank and uh, enable us to generate the same web conditions produced at MC19. So uh, in this table, uh, new medical setup and condition we used are uh, shown. In this study, uh, we simulated uh, two wave condition, flowing sea states and uh, crossing sea states. To investigate the effect of uh, smoothing ramp H on the simulation wave breaking we vary HDP from uh, 1.4 to uh, 2.3 by uh, varying uh, H with a constant uh, dp for each case. We used uh, the initial particle distance of 0.02 meter, which uh, corresponded to HD dp value of 37, uh, which show uh, how many particle uh, sitting on the maximum wave uh, height of the drop down wave. 
So next section, uh, we will show you uh, some new medical result we simulated. So uh, what I'm showing here is uh, Drobna wave animation we simulated for uh, crossing sea states. Uh, we can see some main waves are propagating from uh, left to right in this animation. And we can also see uh, transverse waves are propagating with uh, this uh, direction shown as a uh, red arrow. And at time of focusing, uh, we can see uh, the Drobna wave was uh, reproduced at the uh, center of wave basin, as we can see here. And in this slide, uh, we represent wave breaking observed in the SPH model for the crossing sea states. We can see breaking observed uh, in this animation uh, is less violent, but the motion of the uh, crest appear to be predominantly vertical, not a horizontal direction, but a vertical direction. And uh, it seems to be uh, partial stand standing waves, uh, as we can see here. So in this slide, we will compare the time series of water surface elevation measured at the center of wave basin. Black line denotes experimental data and uh, dots denotes new medical result in the following sea states and crossing sea states. For the HDP value of 1.4, new medical results show uh, underestimation in both uh, sea states. However, uh, the other cases, new, new medical results are very uh, similar, and it is it is difficult to find appropriate value. So to assess uh, appropriate HDP values, we compare uh, still images captured in the exp experiment to uh, our simulations. Note that uh, wave gauge location highlighted by colored lines are aligned so as to correspond to those uh, in the MC19, as we can see here. And from uh, this figure uh, for uh, following sea states, we found that uh, increasing HDP value shifted the uh, breaking onset and uh, location of uh, jet reattachment point, uh, positive X direction, as we can see here. And by breaking with uh, HTTP value of 1.7 and 2.0, uh, qualitatively similar uh, to the uh, experiment, as uh, jet, jet spray uh, reattaches to the water surface at the appro approximately the uh, same position, same uh, location with uh, experiment. And for crossing C, uh, we're breaking for HTTP value of 1.7 and uh, 2.0 were qualitatively similar. In especially, uh, we're breaking with HTTP uh, value of uh, 2.0 uh, appears to uh, reproduce uh, some of the uh, jet spray, uh, as we can see here. So uh, for further assessing, uh, we show the coefficient of the determination for the uh, range of HTTP values. We calculated uh, R2 value over the entire uh, duration of the uh, simulation. And uh, for the duration of the uh, breaking event from uh, 22 to uh, 26 seconds. So this uh, result uh, demonstrate that uh, the simulation carried out uh, with HTTP value of uh, 1.7 reproduce the experiment most accurately for the breaking and uh, non-breaking waves uh, simulated. So uh, let's summarize this study. In this study, we simulated the directionally spread and crossing breaking waves in intermediate water depths using dual SOH physics. And the appropriate HTTP uh, value may, uh, may vary for particle spacing used. However, HTTP value in the range from uh, 1.7 to 2.0 can be recommended 
for uh, both following and crossing C states. A finer particle re resolution uh, could be used to uh, recreate uh, finer details of vibrating. However, uh, using the SPH model, uh, we can investigate uh, further details of the Dropner wave, such as wave kinematics, velocity profiles, wave geometry, and also a trajectory of breaking particle, as we can uh, see here. Uh, these re results have submitted to uh, ocean modeling. So, uh, thank you all for listening. It was a pleasure being here today. If you are interested in uh, our study, uh, please have a look at uh, our papers shown in this slide. So, uh, thank you very much again.